yours. <laughs> that is a relief. <laughs> right, we're live now, so be careful what you say. <laughs> right, hi, Coed ZZ. Um, nice to see you. While I'm waiting, I'm playing around with my Pratika MTL5. Very good. So uh, apparently, Paul's dad had an MTL3. Indeed, the one before it. Ah, very good. The camera that I used to play with in the garden when they were shopping. Okay. <laughs> it was strictly a do not touch. But of course, I never knew what I'm told. <clears throat> so <laughs> away, away and I went. Is, and this is why I bought an Olympus TG6 so my uh, mm -hmm. son can uh, play with the camera and I don't have to worry about it getting broken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like remembering the good times. You see, my dad was really worried I would drop the camera, but I never dropped it. Well, I never told him that I dropped it. <laughs> yeah. is, is he watching now? Is this going to yeah, be one of those moments where you're like, Dad, do you remember years and years ago? <laughs> he won't. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be like, oh. It'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise for him when he finds out. He knows that I used yeah. to borrow it. So. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. I tried tonight to get the same jumper as you. Okay. But I'm not even wearing like, a jumper. <laughs> it's a no, t-shirt. Like I know it's a t-shirt, but it's like, you know, mine's a t-shirt. My I wanted to look like twins. Oh, I see. Sarah did say we looked similar. I'm not sure if she needs to go to Specsavers though. She does need to go to Specsavers. Blimey. <laughs> he thinks I look like I'm offended. <laughs> You're offended. I'm offended. No, I'm joking. <laughs> She oh, looks dear. like this from Mrs. Brown Boys. Say again. She looks like the lady out of Mrs. Brown Boy, Mrs. Brown's Boys. <laughs> okay. <then. laughs> I've never watched it before, so I don't know if that's being offensive to her. She might say, "You can keep your cake with uh, some arsenic in it." <laughs> oh dear. Right. Oh. Let's uh, let's see some of the comments before you get yourself into any more trouble. Yeah. Um, evening, gentlemen, from Tracy. Hello, Tracy. Uh, and Hello, Lynn Tracy. says evening with a smiley face. Um, no, before we uh, go on, do you think yeah. these people that are tuning in that have tuned in since the beginning uh, have got some kind of loyalty card? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't do, you know. think, do you think if they've done e the, the trailer, the pilot episode, and they do yeah. all three episodes, they'll get like a loyalty Ooh. card for Cambria to give them like, I don't know, let's say 25% off whatever they want. <laughs> and we'll be out of business in two weeks time 25 <laughs> percent look Sorry. if you make five percent margin <laughs> so co-ed zz say it's uh 40 years old bless it in relate in yeah. regard to the practice at mtl5 so that's older than i am younger than me <laughs> just only yeah. just by one or two years one or two years, eh? Everybody's older than you. <laughs> uh, Mark Ilsley says, evening both. Chris Ward says, hi, chaps. Jill says, hello, wavy hand emoji. How's the uh, cyanotype going, Jill? Uh, get it out in that moonlight, the non-existent moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve says, good evening, chaps. Fireworks everywhere here in Bolton. Hope you'll provide a few sparklers. Well, wow, Paul's here, so he sparkles up every conversation. <laughs> I... I'm on sparkling form tonight. As always, as always. Adele yeah. says evening. Um and sunny good bedrool, evening, gents. Hey. Here we come, sunny but sunny bedrool, here we come, dancing around yeah. the stone. <laughs> yeah. Uh Tina okay. says, got my wine ready to start, guys. Excellent work. Uh and <laughs> Anne says, Wow, Paul, you're so full of good ideas. Love it. <laughs> 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 and uh, Chris Ward says, no moonlight cyanotypes last night, I'm afraid. And Jill oh. said, no moonlight tonight either. So, and Trish says, hiya. And uh, uh, Erica says, evening, you guys, twins. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Paul's crying. <laughs> yeah, I'm the handsome one. He's the short well, one. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dear, dear, dear. Sit much further away so that I'm the same size. See, this is far away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, this is normal. Joel is smaller. Actually, is that? <laughs> yeah, 
I'm going to set up a camera tomorrow and have it on like 200 millimeters and sit across the room. <laughs> I wish I had a pole that would reach right across and just kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, oh, terrible. Yeah. You're trying to physically abuse me and you're not even in the same country as me. No, well, we can't get to you and you can't get to us now. That seems like a relief at this point if you're trying to poke me with a stick. Do you know what was weird about today? Right? I normally, when I take Noah to school and he sits there being really grumpy, I normally quite enjoy the drive because, you know, when he doesn't talk to me, it's actually bliss. But today I got stuck in two traffic jams, right? We're supposed to be locked down. I saw more aeroplanes today than I have seen in the last week. And we're supposed to be locked down, and I got stuck in a 20-minute traffic jam coming home from school. What the? Wow, goodness <laughs> me. <clears throat> I no, noticed that, like, we live in North Wales, so traffic isn't really a thing yeah. as much. Um, but when I was uh, driving to work the past two days, I was late. Like, uh, not late, late, but, you know, later than I was planning to be. And you the think... I wasn't late. I was just later than what I was aiming to be. And uh, there's like so many cars. I'm like, this is this doesn't seem to be lining up with uh, the lockdown situation we're supposed to be in. But there we are. So who knows? Who knows? Um, hmm. uh, Adele Richardson says uh, round two. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Trish is asking, which one of you is Arnie? No, I'm the other side, Joel. That's it. <laughs> Me and Paul had it figured out so that we could do a high five virtually. <laughs> what you mean like that? Oh. <laughs> it's really weird. It's it's really it's strange. Very that way. That's, it. That's it. It's all backwards. It's like having a twin end reflex uh, yeah. camera yeah. backwards and upside down. So. Oh, dear. Um, Helen Smith says hi, everyone. And Lynn Fraser says. Father Ted doesn't have a look in. Small, far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these cows are tiny. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy Yates says, so many innuendos. Yeah, I, I feel like this situation just uh, lends itself what, to uh, innuendos. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Of course you do. If don't. you want innuendos, Andy, watch Bake Off. They're always on about soggy bottoms. Yeah. <laughs> I just do loose briefs. Yeah, and booby prizes. Oh, God, I've got to, have we got to get that again? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Although I have had my dinner, so it won't put me off my dinner. I think we should uh, Yeah, and Rose Thank Carmine you. says, Pleased to see you've changed your T-shirt for tonight, Paul. <sighs> Last night's T-shirt <laughs> was my pyjamas. Was it? Oh dear, dear, dear! Yeah, yeah. No, I need so, it. A clean T-shirt on for you tonight. Good, good. Not that but I, I have really, to smell it. So no, but I suddenly realised actually it's quite dark, and I sort of disappear. So that's okay. why I put the light on. Because if if I turn the light off, oh. see, I just become a bit ahead. So is this your shot for uh, after dark? Yeah. Oh, Paul doesn't oh. have his booby t-shirt on though. <laughs> Lol. Oh, oh no! You see, I've got a, I've got one of those Charles Mac uh, Charlie Mackesy t-shirts that he did for uh, comic relief or sport relief that say "Love okay. Wins," and it has a big heart. And Lynn was doing a workshop with me, and all she could see was the top of the oh. heart bit. Like that. Amazing! <laughs> Brilliant! And she kept, Brilliant! She kept dissolving into giggles. I. <laughs> I am just a figure of fun. That's it. It's just because you've you know, got a great sense of humour. No, no, it's not. It's <laughs> people just make fun of me. Oh, they, behave! <laughs> Somebody will be I, saying like yesterday, get the uh, violins out again. Uh, it's just it's so it's so hard. <laughs> no, um, what we really need to try really hard. I think uh, everybody should vote or comment to say that Paul has to wear that T-shirt tomorrow. Which one? This one? You know, or the, the no. 
Yeah, yeah, the booby one, just so we can see what what see what Lynn's talking about. Okay, I can do I can do the I can do that T-shirt for you tomorrow. I think if it's washed. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't care if it's washed or not. I don't have to smell it. <laughs> um, Adele, on it. <laughs> Adele says, um, I'm at my local camera club meeting whilst listening to and trying to watch this. I'm trying not to laugh. And then she says, online meeting, I hasten to add. Ha, ah, very good, very good. Well, that, oh, and Lynn said it was the hand gestures that went with the T-shirt. Means this kind of hand gesture. <laughs> you know, it's amazing the things that stick <clears throat> with people in workshops, isn't it? Nothing about photography has gone in. Nothing, right? She remembers a cleavage T-shirt. Well, who knew? <laughs> Thank you, Andy Yates. Uh, I'm definitely yeah. a of fun. Andy Yates is a great laugh. <laughs> he he, he, um, he uh, he's an electrician, and he was doing the electrics at um, our shop. He's he's got a wicked sense of humour. So good. And he and he's a uh, he keeps telling us that we have to do um um a photography for oh. beginners on photography out loud, which we're working on. So yeah. And uh, really Erica good. says, I'm trying to eat my fajitas. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's, there's so, there is so much I could come back with about eating fajitas. <laughs> I feel there's a lot, a lot of food jokes from Lakes and Cakes that could easily yeah. be mentioned at this point. So. But anyway, yeah. oh, 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 uh, Gareth Williams says, my first proper camera was an MTL5B. Still got it, but oh. it's not working anywhere anymore. That makes a great retro prop. Did someone say innuendo? I've tried to give it up, but it's so hard. Brought up on carry on films. I'll fetch my coat, I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Anyway, moving swiftly on, it's episode yeah. two of the special project, at which point Paul will tell us Maybe. what we're doing next. Yes, you. Oh my it's goodness. your idea. <laughs> you better remember what title it is today. Yeah. Um I know what it was. Okay. Do you want me to tell you? <laughs> tell all the people they're waiting. <laughs> I feel like you've worked really hard on this being still thing. To uh... <laughs> Why do you think my company is called Discover Still? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I've discovered how to have be you still. taken? Have you taken lots of screenshots so that you can just slot them in? So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have. Um, so tonight, because I'm assuming that none of you have started yet. Have you had any entries yet? Yes, I have actually. Seriously, God, I'm impressed. Yes, you yeah. guys are amazing. Um, so tonight's um, tonight's brief, um, again, loose brief uh, for those of you who want that. Um, I'm going to have to buy you a t-shirt with that. What loose briefs? <laughs> <laughs> So, so tonight's brief is, I've forgotten what it is. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> you were saying that you're in your 30s and you've forgotten your... Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's you've funny. distracted me. Right, so Standard. here we go. It's always tonight's my brief. fault, isn't it? Yeah. What? Stop texting, Joel. You're on TV. I'm trying to check what it was. I know what it was. So the brief tonight is on my way. And that can be on my way to the shops, on my way to work, on my way to school, on my way to bed. Essential journey to the shops. On my essential journey to the shops, on my exercise route, um, on my bike, um, on my horse. On my you own. Have a horse. <laughs> Do you have a horse? No, I don't have a horse. Oh, Where would that's I a shame. Like, I don't know how big big your garden is. Because you're one of those small horses. <laughs> Rocking horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, on my way, okay? Um, so what I want you to do is just experiment with the, the concept and the idea of on my way and have a bit of fun with it. It's something we can all do without going anywhere special. Um, 
you know, and I, I think uh, I think we can have a bit of fun with it. Um, <laughs> just seen a mess. I'm Linda Markle. I'm watching this on text. and I'm thoroughly confused. <laughs> if you're watching it on video, you wouldn't be any the wiser, to be honest. <laughs> That's all right, Linda. I'm in the middle of it and I'm confused. <laughs> Perpetually. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so on my way. So this is part two. So, you know, just on my way. Think of think of somewhere that you're on your way. And if you see something that catches your eye, you can photograph that. You can photograph the journey literally. You can be as abstract as you like. Um, probably harder to do a, a, a cyanotype tonight. And it doesn't have to be in the dark, right? <laughs> so you don't have to be on my way after dark, okay? It's not, you don't have to put them all together. If you can put them all together, then there'll be an extra slice of cake for you. Um, ooh. ooh, yes, <laughs> extra cake. I love a bit of cake. I, I know you like a little bit of cake. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about cake tonight. <laughs> Oh like, why not? Yeah, I like your cake. Like, don't like, I, I know you like a fairy cake. <laughs> I'm having to bite my tongue so much with the comments you come out with. I'm going to have a hole through it by the uh, the, the last what? episode. What have you got? Dairy on free cake, please. Oh, what yeah. have I got on my t-shirt? I have yeah. the Cambrian t-shirt that I designed. Look at that! Now, Joel, tell us, how do we get one of those t-shirts? Well. See, people have been mentioning it quite a lot. So I think I'm going to put it on the website so that people can buy them. Yes. And how much will they retail at, Joel? This was completely un unrehearsed. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure. I have to double check how much they cost us. Yeah, it'll be probably either $14.99 or $19.99, depending if we can get the postage included or not. So I need to check. Very good value. Is it a nice quality T-shirt? It is. Um, I love wearing it. I would wear it whether I uh, worked for Cameroon or not. Um, and I've had um, comments from all sorts of people. Um, so, no, they really like it. So I've got a few um, other designs in the works as well. So Did you design it yourself? I did. Really good. So, thank you very very much. much. I like that a lot. And um, does it come in different sizes or just extra large? <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to get it in there before you went any further with it. <laughs> oh, um, oh, Linda Marshall wants to know what we do with the photo. You better actually tell them the rules, yeah, Joel. Yeah. Well, well, have you finished your piece? And then I'll yes. continue. The, the brief is on my way, and as Chris Ward says, to the fridge is a good one. But a picture to illustrate on my way, and then you can send it in via Joel. So, yes, so joel at cambrianphoto.co.uk, which I'll put into the comments before anybody asks me to do it. Or you can go onto our Facebook page and you can post it um, to our Facebook wall. Do they refer to it as a wall anymore? I think they do. Um, just to Facebook. And then also you can uh, instant messenger it to us via Facebook Messenger. Uh, and that's perfectly okay as well. Don't worry too much about the size and resolution. We'll contact you again if it's not big enough for when we do the online exhibition, which we'll be doing as a, a slideshow and um, hopefully a physical exhibition when, you know, COVID is not as much of an issue yeah. um, and people can freely come into the shop and we'll have an exhibition in the shop and hopefully we'll have wine and coffee and lemon drizzle cake. And mm -hmm. also... We may even make a book. I've been, actually been looking into um, books um, so that we might be able to get them printed if people want to buy them. So um, th those are the ways that we're going to display it. You get the opportunity to send us three images per category. So uh, After Dark was yesterday, On My Way is today, and it's tomorrow, which you'll find out tomorrow. And you'll get to yeah. send three three images for each one. So so one per uh, three per brief. So in total, you have nine images if you were to hit the limit for each brief. So nine total images. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. And yeah, I think, I think that's all of it. Oh, and it has to be in. 
Say again? What's that banging? Oh, that would be fireworks. <laughs> Quite a lot of them. And I'm pretty sure I can hear my son go, ooh, fireworks. I'm running to the window in the lounge because we can see quite a lot of houses. So it's really good. There was some going out of the front and some at the back. And uh, so we decided to open both blinds and he can run between like this, between them. So he's had like probably a good solid hour of fireworks. It's amazing. <laughs> so, oh, and uh, they have to be in uh, the 16th. Um, of November, which is uh, Monday, uh, so not next Monday, the Monday after, and um, it has to be in by twenty three fifty nine. Um, on the, if it if it's zero 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 on the seventeenth, uh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, to, re to recap, tonight's brief for those of you who have arrived late, and we'll let you off this time, but you need to be early tomorrow. Um, for those of you that have arrived late, tonight's brief is on my way. Last night's brief was after dark. All the three pictures per brief to be in by 23.59 on the 16th of November. Yeah, 2020. 2020, yeah. Yeah, not next year. <laughs> <laughs> not five years from now. Yeah. I mean, we might be back by popular demand this time next year. Who knows? Who knows? And hopefully it's not because of a lockdown, though. Hopefully that's all a thing of the past. No, if only. And we can just, we yeah. can just do interesting projects online. I, I'm i surprised that none of the people watching tonight, you know, have decided they're going to go and do fireworks photos after dark. So I, I think that would be quite a simple fireworks. one. Yeah, whether we'll get any fireworks photos. Yeah. Be interesting. So, or light painting. Cool. Yeah, Chris Ward, assume the name, file naming should have our name in the brief and the brief. Oh, yes, that would be very organised and very helpful for yeah. me. You can tell the people that have entered competitions before and you can <laughs> tell the people who are running a, 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 an idea with absolutely no clue what to do. So, yeah, if you... Um, what do you we're, mean? We're perfectly organised. You didn't when, forget the uh, project title at all this evening. You know, um, when you send your pictures in, Often your name will be attached if you send them with an email or whatever, but you can um, put your name in the file name. So you could call it, you know, Chris Ward Dark, if you wished. Okay? Yeah. Or you can make up some completely random name that you, you've just fallen in love with and put that on and then we'll never know who you are. Um, but there we go. So we should, we, should give, we should give extra points for interesting titles for images. Interesting. Are we giving points? It's not a competition. Uh, no, but I, I feel prize? like... You know, it's Have you just got a prize? Have you got a prize? Yeah, ticket? lemon cake, isn't it? God, I, so might, I might. Well, no, because it's not a competition, like you said. But It's not. It's no. not. And I, I and, think and I'm sure somebody's going to say, can we have a T-shirt or something? Because that's normally what it is. And we end up saying we might give you a lens cloth. Yeah. And then we let them down. So, uh, but, right, let's just catch up with all of these comments. <laughs> well, that's fireworks uh, is brief. Andy Yates, I told him to keep that a secret. What's that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear, Andy. <laughs> terrible, I got terrible. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, right, so um, Tracy Edwards says, I've done some tonight. Great. Uh, and James says pants again. I hope you're referring to the conversation about pants and not the fact that we are pants or this this show, this live video is pants. Um, I'm sure it's not. I hope not. Um, otherwise, we're getting a sack pull. Um, uh, <laughs> Tracy Edwards, you are in good company, Linda, to the I'm watching this on text and thoroughly confused. <laughs> And Helen Smith says, not much clearer in person, Linda. <laughs> Blooming egg. <laughs> Our communication skills are severely lacking by the looks of things. Yeah. Steve said yeah. he's going to the shed. Yeah. If we did subtitles. <laughs> what, our own ones? Yeah. Uh, uh, independent of Facebook trying or YouTube trying. That'd yeah. be, that'd be, fair. that'd be like one of those um, weird videos about, uh, the the lip reading. Yeah. If you watch those, 
they're pretty hilarious. Um, yeah. Tina <laughs> says, just Tina says, what... "Berry free cake, please." I'm trying to. I, I can't see the ones that are coming up. I'm just going through them. Oh, Andy Yates going upstairs at night. I nailed it. Excellent. <laughs> Be interesting to see what tomorrow is and combining the three together. Um, yeah. A Fuji fairy cake. Yeah, maybe. On my way to the fridge. That's a good one. Uh, what do we do with the photo? I think we've answered that one. Um, 25% loyalty discount. I don't like this idea, Paul. It's getting very expensive very quickly. I think that's um, a, really, a really good idea. Ingrid Ooh. says Cambrian will sell to geologists too. Um, and now, now, Paul from Tina Hogg. I'm not, not quite sure what that refers to. I feel like oh, that could be I, put in any part of this conversation. Yeah, but I think that was because I said, don't they just, do they just come in extra large? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Eleanor yeah. says, sorry, I'm a late arrival. No problem at all. Probably better to be late. <laughs> Although you're probably even more confused, to be honest. <laughs> um, Sarah says, sorry, she's late too. She just heard the challenge. Uh, we explained, Linda, what was the first one? Joel looking into books. Is that a first? <laughs> oh dear! Are you trying to suggest I'm ill-educated? Shocking! Shocking! Um, do a book, Joel. Yes, I think we should do a book, Tracy. Um, we'll see what we get if we if we get enough entries, um, then we can sort that out, and then people can uh, buy a book. Um, <laughs> Tina says three per pants. Then I'm. <laughs> Some of these comments out of context really don't make sense, <laughs> but add hilarity to this live video. Um, isn't is a, is a word in in Welsh, Joel, that doesn't mean pants? I have no idea. Uh, pant means um, pant means bridge. What does pant mean? Well, maybe I was maybe it was pant then. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody will probably tell me. Um, I am yeah. trying to improve my Welsh currently, especially given my son goes to a Welsh speaking school. Yeah. I want to make I sure I understand to... what him and his sister are yeah. plotting. <laughs> Tracy Edwards is leaving. Oh, ah, I see. Bye, Tracy. See you tomorrow. Have fun at your webinar. Um, so tomorrow okay. night we need to be a little bit clearer and a yeah. little bit more sensible because I think maybe we've just getting – I've had too much sugar maybe. <laughs> You're just on a sugar high. Too many Harry Bow again. Yeah, the fizzy ones. Yeah, <laughs> apparently the wine didn't make it any clearer. <laughs> ah, you see, um, and a pant is a hollow or a dip. Ah, that's it. Well, yeah. I suppose you know this is a low point, so that's this could be classed as a dip. <laughs> <laughs> and the ratings of it tonight. <laughs> oh dear, that was terrible. Uh, that that comment from Andy Yates. Paul has fireworks in his briefs. Well. Wow. Yeah. There's some great T-shirt um, slogans for you going on, isn't there? There is, yeah. Um, oh, dear. Right. So, um, so we'll leave it there before we uh, digress any further into this dip and it becomes a valley of uh, nonsense. Um, so we'll see you okay. tomorrow at 7 p.m.? Uh, yes, Friday night. Friday night live. Ooh. After two bags of Harry Bows, just to push the boat out. Yeah. No, I'm having no sugar tomorrow. I'm going to be calm tomorrow. Okay. I feel like you say that, and I don't think the amount of sugar you have will actually influence how calm you are tomorrow. I, I promise I'll be getting try. giddy. It's the weekend. No, no, I'll be I'll be calm tomorrow. Right. I don't think anybody no. will tune in tomorrow then if you're that calm. No, it was only that it was foggy and frosty here this morning. I just got very excited. I think I've stayed in a. Uh, that was a beautiful a... image. Oh, was it? I took that in my yeah. pajamas morning in the field. I don't care what it was taken in. <laughs> Do you not? I <laughs> care about what it was taken in rather than what it was taken on. <laughs> <laughs> a cup of tea in my pajamas, standing in the fog and the frost with my phone. Were you getting cold toes? No, because I've got I've got sheepskin slippers. Ooh, I'm old, nice. Joel. I've got cheap slippers. I'm about to buy a cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get a pipe as well. Yeah. 
Right, come on, let's let's wrap it up before people get bored. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just be the talking oh, to each other. Linda says, A Valley of Nonsense, great title for a book. There we are. We've got our special project uh, photography uh, title. <laughs> yeah. So, right. We'll uh, see you all tomorrow. Um, enjoy the fireworks yeah. if you get to see any. Stay safe and uh, look forward to um, telling you the third and final uh, brief. Uh, yeah. So yeah. thank you very much, everybody. Have a good night. Yeah. See you. Cheers. Bye.